YouTube, what's going on? Joe here. And today I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd poke a little fun at myself and uh, go over some of my videos. And I wanted to see which ones are the most hated videos. Now, how can you know which ones are hated? Well, you could conceivably read through all the comments. And we all have our, anybody who's a, a YouTube creator or makes videos on YouTube, you're going to get your share of... Uh, going to get your share of hate and your share of thumbs down. But I figure instead of reading all the comments, because, um, you know, because I, uh, I review clones as well, I get a lot of hate in the clone section, which that's expected. So going strictly by thumbs down only, uh, I did the top three videos that are most hated on my channel as voted by you, you know. Uh, so I thought I'd go over with you. And maybe you guys can, you know, go back, check out those videos. I looked over those videos. I mean, I have some ideas why they got the hate, you know. But uh, I want to, you know, have a little fun, you know, poke a little fun at myself and uh, see what you guys think. So uh, before I, I, I check that out, you know, like I don't have any videos that are, you know, 50, 60,000 views. You know, so I'm sure there's a little – when I show you my amount of – my top three, um, my uh, – then none of them have like 50 or 100 uh, thumbs down, you know. So it's just it, just my numbers that apply to my channel, you know. So bear with me, you know. Uh, another thing I always thought that they should have done that or maybe hopefully someday do uh, implement is um, how are we supposed to know to improve? I mean, unless somebody puts a comment and it says, you know, I don't like this, I don't like the way you did this, and I don't like the way you did that. We really don't know. You know, a thumbs down is just a thumbs down. I always thought they should do something like when you when you click a thumbs down, you should be able to fill in an, an anonymous blank as as to why you didn't like that video. Why did you thumbs down the video? Now, of course, with the clone videos, a lot of people, you know, thumbs down because, uh, you know, it's a clone. You know, so secondly, I used to have a couple of... Uh, and that's how I altered my channel too. Is I used to have a couple of people, and I used to do like silent videos, uh, silent reviews. And you might say, "Well, what's that?" Basically, I just showed the knife. I didn't talk. Sometimes I feel like I talk too much, and I showed the knife. And uh, I had a lot of you guys. Uh, I don't know whether you did thumbs down or not. But I had a lot of you guys write to me in the video, and like Joe, you know, I'd rather hear you talking during it. And I was like, okay. So I, if you anybody who's been a fan of my channel for a long time. Uh, I've stopped doing those. You know, I, I don't want to do uh, silent videos anymore. Um, I think there was another instance where I would post just, I did a couple of tries of just posting a ton of pictures of a particular knife without any commentary, and people didn't like that. They'd rather have the video with the commentary. So I stopped doing those as well. So um, let's go over these. I only did three. I mean, uh, I'm basically, I'm, I guess I've been pretty fortunate. Most of them uh Mine are in single digits, but these two, three are in double digits. So let's start with the first one. And the first one's kind of obvious. It's I'm going to play the video uh, on silent while it shows it. It's the Zero Tolerance ZT0562 Carbon Fiber M390 Knife Clone. It has 6,227 views at the moment. 64 will give it thumbs up, but 12 gave it a thumbs down. Now... I wasn't going to include clones on this um, on this video because the obvious reason is probably it's because of clone. But again, like I said earlier, I don't have that many double digits uh, in um, in uh, in thumbs down, which I I appreciate because <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to make the best uh, the best videos I can. Uh, but uh, I put this on there. The only thing I, I can think of is uh, you know it's the diehard ZTs. ZT fans, you know, saying to themselves, you know, not liking it, that's a clone and all that stuff. And the only one, I guess, an honorable mention right underneath uh, this one is with 11, um, 11 um, thumbs down is the um, Spyderco uh, Slice Bowie uh, clone. That one got 11 uh, thumbs down. So I'm thinking to myself, that's the same reason, you know. So more than likely, the thumbs down all came from people, you know, not approving of clones, which I understand, you know. So... Let's go to my next one. Now, this one, the uh, Real Steel Bushcraft 2 Knife 2015 Unboxing and First Impressions. This one, as you see below, has 6,000 views with 48 thumbs up and almost half, 21 thumbs down. Now, 
I have a theory of why this one uh, got the thumbs down. Uh, the first three or four minutes of this video, I basically had the box going, and I, I was I, when I bought this knife, I, uh, I got a watch with it too. I can't remember the, the name of the watch. It's in the video, and that watch was just a piece of crap. And I, I mean, I was, I was psyched to get that watch too, and I, and I sent that thing back. It was like forget about it. And I was talking about that in the beginning of the video. So the only thing I could think of is that maybe some of the diehard Bushcraft uh, fans uh, came to see this uh, a knife video about this knife, and all of a sudden, on the first three minutes, I'm you know they're staring at a box, um, uh, talking about a watch. So that's the only reason I can really think that maybe uh, I got you know the 21 hate on this uh, this channel. Um, I'm sorry, not this channel on this particular video. I think the video came. I don't know, look at all. I mean, granted, it's hard to assess yourself because, uh, but I think the video came out pretty well. Maybe could have been a little bit lighter, you know, and uh, the quality of the video. This was done back in August of last year, so you know, you try to get better and better with your, uh, you know, with your videos as you go along, add, adding different tricks, different things. I think right there, if you notice, I think they got a little brighter, so I adjusted the light. So that was the number two, and for the longest time, this was number one. But not until recently, some uh, number one video uh, creep, cre was it creeped up, uh, <laughs> creeped up to the number one spot. Not passing it by much, but let's get to that one. The number one most hated video right now in my in my uh, channel, the Oppenel number eight trekking knife. Three thousand views, nineteen thumbs up, and there is more thumbs down than. Then there is a uh, thumbs up. 23 thumbs down. I think this is the only video I have, uh, no matter how many thumbs up or thumbs down. I mean, I'd have to double check. But uh, it's the only video I have that has more thumbs down than it does thumbs up. Now, my theory on this one is I probably hit hit hard with sacred ground on with this, with Oppenel, Openel. Um uh, a lot of Openel fans out there, and I'm sure anybody who maybe came across this uh, video probably like, what the hell, Joe? Because I didn't give this knife the most favorable review, and I wound up giving this one this knife away, as a matter of fact. But and since making this video, which was back also in August of 2015, um, I... I am going to give Oppenel another try. I don't know whether I'm going to get this particular number eight trekking knife, but I'm going to give them another try. So uh, I'm open. You know, I'm willing to. I remember this one had the problem with the uh, the lock uh, that that uh, middle um, is supposed to spin. Or I, I oh no, that, that wasn't the problem. I had uh, even with it open, as you can see, I'm opening and closing it now. I had difficulty getting this knife open. Uh, even like I said, even with the lock open. So. That's probably why I gave it an unfavorable review, and I also mentioned other things in the video of being able to get for the same price or maybe pay a little bit more that I felt was a little bit more functional. So evidently, I must have um, I must have hit a nerve with Oppenel fans, but uh, I want you to take a look at this one as well and see what you think. Does this deserve to have uh, more negatives than positives? Um, let me know what you think. So basically that that's it. I, I I just wanted to poke a little fun at myself, you know. Uh you know, I remember when I first got uh my when I first started making videos, I was like and I and I got my first thumbs down, I was like, "Wow, you know, what the heck? What did I do wrong? Why would I get a thumbs down?" But as you make more and more, you're going to get your Anybody who's anybody um, has had um anybody who's I mean not anybody who's anybody, anybody who's made videos before. Uh, knows that you're going to get your share of, you could do everything perfect, and you're going to get your trolls, and you're going to get your people that just, they just like the thumbs down, you know, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, but I've been lucky, um, most of my videos are well received, uh, I don't get that many uh, negative comments, um, you know, I, uh, I don't get that many thumbs down, and I try hard to accommodate. Like I said, you know, uh, I was doing a couple different things, I tested the waters, you guys gave me feedback that you didn't like it and I stopped doing it so um, let me know what you think um, I'm gonna put the links to these three videos in my description if you uh, want to play along just uh, go take a look at the video let me know what you think what 
What do you think? Do you like the video? Do you see the reason why uh, maybe someone gave it a thumbs down? Do you think maybe the person who gave it a thumbs down gave it undeservingly? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, you don't have to reply in the individual videos so we can keep the discussion going in all together in this video. Uh, put, your, put your replies in this video. I would really like to hear what you think. And again, it's just I'm just trying to have some fun. You know, I'm just trying to make a little fun of myself. And what's this saying? You got to once in a while you got to make, make fun of yourself. You got to be able to laugh at yourself. Well, I'm trying to laugh at myself and uh, have a little fun and get a little discussion going in the meantime. So check those three videos out uh, if you can. I mean, I know my average uh, viewing is not is not the greatest. Uh, most people. Uh, I watch my videos less than three minutes, so I'm already at the 1045 mark or maybe a little longer if I have an intro. So I don't know how long you guys have listened to this. If you've only lasted to two and a half minutes, you're not even going to know to, to what the directions are, what to do. But anybody who's suffered through this whole thing and wants to play along, check those three videos out. Put your comments in this video. Let me know what you think. Again, as always, thanks, everybody, for watching. Take care. Uh, you guys are the best. I love doing these videos for you, and I don't tell you how, how much I appreciate you enough. I should just dedicate more video time just to saying that. Thanks again, everyone. God bless. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed my video. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Take care.